Throughout running this channel, I've received a number of questions about FreeCAD. Uh, is it a good modeler? Can it compare to other uh, industry-used modelers? Um, if I learn FreeCAD, will my skills be applicable to move on to other modelers that I can't currently afford? Or <clears throat> even if FreeCAD can be used for commercial use? So I want to talk about those today. Uh, FreeCAD in my opinion, and everything that I say here is in my strictly opinion, is an excellent modeler. Uh, it has a strong base model with a great sketching ability. And when you look, compare FreeCAD to SolidWorks, you find that the relations and constraints are the same. It's all tangent, horizontal, symmetric. I mean, it has all the same sketching tools and relations. And uh, so it's got great base modeling and, the, and the, even the creating solid tools are the same such as extrusions, revolves, lofts. Uh, it, it does surfacing. In fact, FreeCAD has uh, surfacing uh, down very well with some of the add-in features. It can do finite element analysis and even the analysis can do mesh regions for you know higher resolution in certain areas. It has advanced visualization tools of analysis. It has thermal and thermal mechanical analysis capabilities. It can do CFD or computational fluid dynamics. It can make assemblies. You can have exploded views. You can track your degrees of freedom across your assembly components. It'll make drawings of the assemblies with updating bills of materials. Uh, it has uh, weld symbols in the drawings. It has you know all the things that you need to be technical except GD&T. FreeCAD even as a modeler can sometimes exceed the ease of use of other industry modeling softwares. Uh, and I know some may scoff at hearing that, but let me provide some examples. I made a Corsair on my channel, and that's a very complex Corsair wing. And I was able to do that in three sketches only with FreeCAD. I could not do that same thing in SolidWorks. And you may be able to make three sketches work uh, maybe with uh, you know a boundary loft and some normal to profile uh, constraints to try to shape the wing, but it will not be uh, nearly as well controlled as it has been in FreeCAD. Uh, FreeCAD also has a great user interface with hotkeys that run constraints and relations and dimensions. So I can select things with my right hand in FreeCAD. I can update them with my left hand. Uh, by giving them constraints and relations, and running it two-handed like that is a lot faster than uh, a lot of other uh, user interfaces on other platforms. I'm uh, thinking about SolidWorks, where you do have a handy S key that brings up sketch features and tools and relations, but uh, it's dependent upon your mouse to select them, so you have to run both the constraints and relations and the sketch tools with one hand, and you can't split it up and move faster with both hands like you can in FreeCAD. So there, there are some ways that, I, in my opinion, FreeCAD is easier to or faster to use, but uh, specifically you have to wonder, do the skills that I develop in FreeCAD, if I learn it, translate to the big modelers? And I did it the other way around. I learned SolidWorks and then I moved to FreeCAD. The first model that I made in FreeCAD was this wheel that I uh, had made in uh, in FreeCAD with. And so when I made a video of this wheel, <clears throat> you can see that of course I didn't know FreeCAD very well at the time, so there were things that I could have done that were easier. But it, despite the really small points, I was able to make a pretty good model uh, with very little trouble in FreeCAD based on what I knew in SolidWorks. So it must go the other way around that you can learn things in FreeCAD and do pretty well moving into SOLIDWORKS or other uh, modelers if you want to use FreeCAD as a way to grow your skills without going bankrupt by taking out some, you know, <laughs> loans trying to license SOLIDWORKS. Interestingly, uh, on the topic of expensive modelers, I'm going to be covering uh, very shortly another platform that is both supported, proprietary, and affordable, very affordable. So stay tuned for that if you're looking for an affordable modeler that you can uh, get as a hobbyist. Uh, can FreeCAD be used commercially is another common question that I get. And I, I say yes, because I personally have used it commercially. I've implemented some FreeCAD models in my old job, as well as an analysis capability that we had no other way of analyzing. Uh, 
as well as I've seen it being used in the furniture industry, in the medical industry, and in a few other industries. And I've personally freelanced using uh, FreeCAD, especially for smaller operations where uh, they can benefit by viewing my models without having to try to go through other softwares. So I think FreeCAD is very good for industry use. I would have a few suggestions, uh, among of which might be uh, stronger fillets, which would help uh, with plastic injection mold design. I would suggest uh, support for GD and T drawings. And beyond that, there are some drafting standards like ASME Y14.5 2009 or 2018 that uh, would be nice if it conformed to a little bit more, but even in SOLIDWORKS, I've used SOLIDWORKS and had to have workarounds for parts of ASME Y14.5 2009 and 2018 that weren't supported. So I think whether you use ISO or ANSI or AS, ASME or whatever you do, uh, you're going to have parts that aren't supported in your standards and have workarounds, but that'd be nice. Uh, but I think FreeCAD, for what it is, and that is primarily three people in their spare time developing this with some enhancements from the community, have done a superbly fantastic job in making a software that runs like industry software and I think is incredibly useful. I use it all the time. Um, I use it alongside SOLIDWORKS and all, a bunch of other uh, CAD modelers. I esteem FreeCAD highly for making such a wonderful complex workflow available for free to anybody. I love FreeCAD. I hope you do too. In fact, I think you should too. And uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. This being an open source software, I'm very new to it, but I cannot believe how powerful and immense and just overall impressive that this software is being provided absolutely free. It, it blows my mind and I, I cannot thank the developers enough for uh, making such a wonderful, useful, relevant, amazing software absolutely free. It is a, it is a treasure to use and as evidence, version 018 is even better than 017. Um, the, the, truly incredible. So again, my, my uh, congratulations and admiration to those who've made such a great software. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you enjoy this as, as much as I do. And we'll see you next time.